All right, we are now on short answer and essay type question. Okay, you learned a lot in class about Mrs. Jenkins. Now it's your turn to share information about yourself in a paragraph of at least seven sentences. Share some <clears throat> things about yourself. You might include information about school, pets, friends, family, or your favorite things. Okay, now it says test text formatting, so I can choose what I want to allow them access to. Okay, and in this case, I don't believe I need to allow them access to anything else except for simple formatting. So I'm not even going to allow them access to lists. They just can bold, italics, underline. They don't need access to anything else. But anything that I click and is grayed out like this, they will have access to. All right. Um, the word limit, okay, um, I can um, change. In this case, uh, I probably want a word limit of about 500, okay? I don't want uh, anything that extensive for this simple assignment, okay? Um, I can make that word limit visible. Notice here I can show the word count. That makes it easy when students are trying to um, get to a specific word count, right? And then I can check this if I want to allow submissions over the word limit. If I don't, leave this alone and students will be unable to submit something if it's over the word limit. When I look at preview question, okay, here's the question and then they're going to begin typing. Notice the 500 word limit and it is going to start showing them uh, how many words they have okay, as they're typing. And then I'm going to click save. Now, obviously, for this question, I do not want it worth one point. I uh, had seven sentences, two points each. We're going to say that one is worth 14 points. 